Hello, everyone. Good morning. This is Andre with Pinnacle Credit Repair. And, you know, I don't know what title I'm going to label this video, but I just wanted to take the time to be transparent with you guys again and, you know, just show you these handful of files that we randomly picked. As you can see, we are looking at my Skype conversation with Tammy. He's my assistant. If you ever hear about Tammy, if I don't know if you're a customer already that's watching this video or somebody new. I hope that you're someone new. That way you reap the benefits of this video more than someone that has already been through or you know currently in my program that has definitely seen the results. And like you see on the screen here, these are my customers. Haven't downloaded, haven't even, I have not even looked at these files, okay? And although they have hired me personally, I'm not really good with, I don't really know all of them. Can't say I, I know all of them. We, I mean, I'll just let you know, a lot of people hire me personally, okay? And, you know, they hire me personally, even though I give them the option to, you know, use a cost-effective program, but... These people don't care. They want results. Like yesterday, they call me and they've either A, hired a company, they're frustrated. They're already frustrated, but they're not giving up. These are the people that have hired other companies and spent money and still didn't get the results that they're looking for, but something compelled them to do an organic search. Now, keep in mind, let's just quickly go to Google right now. And if you were to type fast credit repair, boom, you see I just put F-A. Pinnacle is already on the top. Can you see right here? It's already on the top. Okay. The reason why it's on top is because Google has been around for many, many years. I, I would say maybe 20 years. And through that period of time, um, maybe more, um, Google has been able to effectively help the consumer and, and searcher find exactly what they're looking for. And so if you're looking for fast credit repair, if that's what you're looking for, then you, Google is gonna put you where you need to be. Google's not wrong in that regard, okay? And keep in mind, people, can't, people can advertise, they can do this and that, but as you can see, there's no ads for credit repair anymore. You want to know why there's no ads for credit repair anymore? It's because they're banned. It's, it's because so many credit repair companies have done so badly to consumers that it's been deemed a high-risk industry and they want nothing to do with it. They've got people from Congress calling Google saying, no, don't do it. And that's why Google has banned them. So organic search is where you're at. Only the most ethical and the best credit repair companies are going to be on top. And as you can see, Pinnacle is there. So if that's not transparent enough, if that's not enough concrete proof for you, if that's not evident enough, then I need to do a better job then. So I, 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 there's a lot of stuff on my mind and I could have made another video about something else, but I decided to really reinforce and hone in on the needs of you, you that are watching this right now. So stay with me and let's go in to my Skype. Boom, Carmelo, let it download. Let's look one by one. Now keep in mind, I'm gonna click open in just a second. And if you see items that are similar to the items that you have on your credit report, then that's a win, that's hope for you. People call me and they're frustrated. I don't even pick up the phone anymore. I don't until people are ready. I'm not a salesman. We don't have salespeople at Pinnacle. Go ahead, call the number. We're not going to pick up. It's not that we're negligent. We, we answer the phone to our customers that are already customers. But if you're not a customer, we don't need to talk to you. Watch this video. Go on our website, Pinnacle Credit Repair. Read. Take the time to do the research. You need to be 100% certain this is for you. And the way for me to... I guess, you know, help you make that decision, whether this is something that you don't want to do or something that you need to do, is just do the research. And I'm gonna help you by showing you, like in-house, what we're doing. So, click open. 
There you go, okay? There you go. 14 items deleted, okay? And as you can see, this is, this is recent, okay? This is recent time. We're not picking files from years ago. We're picking files within this time, within this season, and look at what we see here, 14 items deleted, okay? Now, when you see um, this account where it says positive, well, it's because it was previously a late payment, and now it's positive. So we, we're able to remove late payments, okay, of any sort, or unpaid balances, any type of account status like that. Check this out. Citibank, can you see here? Citibank, it was deleted, was reported on Experian. A lot of people say they have trouble with Experian. Well, I'm, we have trouble with all the bureaus, okay? All the bureaus are troublemakers. So for us to say, oh, we, can, we're, we have a lot of luck with Experian, no, I wouldn't be able to tell you that. I'd be lying. All the bureaus are difficult. They can be difficult at any given time. There is no rule of thumb with these bureaus. You just have to go in and focus on your file, and you need a professional that has worked with a numerous amount of problems. Like if you go to your car, if, you know, depending upon how you drive, if you drive rigorously like a NASCAR racer, maybe you use your credit the same. If you're a hotshot guy that wants to do real estate deals or just aspiring to do real estate deals or you know, doing business, or maybe you have actual goals, you don't just want to use your credit to get an apartment. If you're the type of person that has serious goals with your credit, well, you're going to put it through the ringer. You're going to use it and unintentionally abuse it. Maybe sometimes intentionally, intentionally abuse it because you have no other choice. Life happens to us all, okay? And yeah, so if you're a person that is climbing the corporate chain or getting into entrepreneurship, or maybe you have a business and you want to grow it, credit is definitely a necessity. You're going to want to hire a professional that's made their reputation by taking on the most difficult files. And as I mentioned before in this video, we take on customers that have already hired other companies and have failed and have even tried it on their own and have went the whole YouTube route and tried to learn from these Mm, these interesting characters on YouTube that clearly are not giving you the full story, okay? I don't know how anyone can have a successful business model by giving you free information. I really don't. Now, you might have a channel and you monetize it and you get ad money, so one could say, oh, that's how they make money. Well, it's clearly not enough. If you break the numbers down and you would need you know, it, it doesn't really make too much sense, okay? So the, you can't rely on those YouTube people because they're not going to give you the full story. They're going to just tell you whatever is hot for the moment. That's they, Their specialty is hacking the YouTube algorithm to get viewers, and that's how they get their money. So they're going to tell you everything that you want to hear and, and I'm going to tell you the truth. YouTube is not like Google. You may not find what you're looking for. So it's getting better on that regard in the credit repair section. Other sections, I don't know. But credit repair, I'm going to let you know. There is a lot of phoniness. Okay? Because it's geared to make money off of ads, not really educate the customer. So there's a conflict of interest. There, you know, Big conflict of interest, right? Anyway, going back. As you can see, CarMax was deleted. Ally Financial was deleted. Has anyone had problems with Ally Financial? Where well, there you have it. We've deleted it. We've had customers where it's been really difficult to remove, but we've removed it for them. CarMax deleted. Ally Financial again deleted. Again deleted. Factual data deleted. Factual data again, factual data again, okay? Then you have this chapter 7 and 13 bankruptcy there, okay? 
that um, is pending for deletion. As you can see, we removed it off of the other two, but it's still on. This was a later import, so you won't see the previous things were deleted. Uh, you, you're just going to see the latest or, you know, what's on here. But the previous months, you won't be able to see what was deleted. So, in fact, if I remember correctly, there were two sections here. You see Equifax. If you look at this section right here, um, there's supposed to be two bankruptcies here. We, do, we deleted them for the both, Chapter 7 and 11, uh, 13. Okay, so we can remove bankruptcies too, and 30 days late, deleted. Okay, so we can just go on and on. Ally Financial again deleted. JP Morgan deleted. Okay, um, Citibank reported positive. Late payments were deleted again and again. So this was a pretty good file. As you can see, look at his scores. 14 deleted, 637. That's a huge jump coming from even the 500s. Okay. All right. So let's exit out of here. Let's go to David. 12 deleted. He's already in the 700 scores. And if you look at the date, okay, this was pretty uh, recent, not not long ago. Okay. So it's within the month. So it was in the month here we got this 12 items deleted 34 points 55 points so as you can see that's his first month um, and we could scroll down Bald Hill College that was a uh, inquiry oh Bald Hill Dodge okay so auto inquiry okay you know when auto dealers run up your credit and you get a bunch of inquiries well, the reason why they do that is because there is a rule to do that, a, a certain time limit within, you know, uh, a couple weeks period or a week period where you can apply. There's a mortgage inquiry rule that's written in the Truth in Lending Act, and you could look that up yourself. That gives the creditor the amount, uh, I mean, and the consumer a window of time to inquire for a certain amount of inquiries, and it would count only as one. So auto dealers are trained to, uh, you know, auto brokers are you know trained to do that with different banks to see what you would be approved for it's written in the rule okay birchwood credit another inquiry so you see all these inquiries deleted so removing inquiries we are definitely the best at okay now you look at this account right here cnac 101 deleted Okay, and this other stuff is pending for deletion. So maybe I'll make another video. Oh, we have a student loan deleted. Look at this, U.S. Department of Education. Okay, we got that deleted. So maybe I'll make another video that shows um, those accounts being deleted, the ones that you see here. And U.S. Department again deleted. So student loans we can delete. Let's go back. So, yeah, this video might be long, but, you know, it's good that it's long, right? If you're serious about making the decision to spend a good amount of money, like, let's say, 1500 or 1800 or more, then you're going to need to do the research. So use this video to your advantage. 15 items deleted, as you can see, at the 21st of, you know, this month. So it's recent, okay? That's pretty darn good results. This customer is a member of our fast track elite program too i believe i ah, don't quote me on that well whichever program she chose she got good results put it that way 15 items deleted you can see them here bank of america deleted credit union deleted all these inquiries deleted pretty quickly Collection deleted, Victoria's Secret charge account deleted, Midland Funding there, and CB Express. Don't know what that is. Chase Bank maybe. I don't think so. Yeah, and we have these other items remaining that are in dispute. They're pending. So I'll make another video later, which will show an update of this. AT&T deleted. Okay. 
So all of these accounts that are still on here that are negative, we I'll make another video update for this customer so you can see how quickly we're able to do it and if we're able to do it. Uh, this is a medical collection removed and so on and so forth. Victoria's Secret deleted there. Okay, so we got a pretty decent amount for the first round. Okay, I believe she's a fast track elite member. Okay, Franklin Lawrence. Let's open him up. And you could see 18 items deleted. An inquiry, inquiries, and inquiries. These are all inquiries. Have a look. Okay. So removing inquiries is one of like the first steps of repairing credit. And as you can see with the past three previous files, we've had success in removing inquiries fairly quickly. And a little inside note, yeah, that's one of the first things that we do. Um, the reason why we are so successful at repairing credit is because of the strategies that are handpicked using the system that I created called ACAT. And it stands for Automated Credit Analytic Technologies. And basically what it does is it takes my brain and many and, and a few other people's brilliant minds in credit repair and puts them in a machine. And it also extracts data, many, many years of public and private data that not everyone has access to. And this data that is public is basically case studies of court, of courts and, um, you know, the cases of class action lawsuits, um, civil lawsuits with banks, stuff like that regarding certain rules that were broken in consumer rights. Credit reporting is one of them. Credit repair. Collect, bill, collect, bill, uh, debt collection. Lending. Okay? Stuff like that. It's really important to, to understand here. And this system handpicks the strategies with a computer system called ACAT that I created. And it basically makes it so much easier. It will literally handpick the strategies. Our team will review it, and then we would shoot them off rapidly. Now, the lead time for most credit repair companies is going to be at least 60 days before you get what they consider, you know, significant results. You can go to Lexington Law. By the way, you can go to Lexington Law right now and use Lexington Law as a, you know, a guide as a rule of thumb. I mean, they've been around for so long. So you can trust them in the sense that what they're advertising and what they do, you, you, you're, you're going to mostly get. And they're not charging you so much money that they're going to be in trouble if they don't. And they're not charging you so much money that you can expect much either. So you're going to have to evaluate them in that respect. Our company is much different. We have customers that are already ticked off and patient and want results. And we've been able to, as you can see, see credit one removed right here. We've been able to have a successful business with happy customers um, in the industry that is, um, what? well, hold on. in an industry um, that is already high risk and high pressure as it is. We've been able to have success. I mean, think about it. Mr. John Harrington right here, he paid us a lot of money, okay? I think he paid us, I don't know, he, he may have paid us three grand, okay? And as you can see, you know, the more they pay, the more they get. That's just how it works. And the reason being is, is for that because uh, another insight is that, let me tell you something, guys. Uh, I hope you're watching this video and you didn't just think my, you're not, you didn't think it's boring. 
I mean, it's information. This is me being transparent. I'm literally telling you what's going down here and how we how we work. So we have this we have two programs, Fast Track Elite, and we have you know the if you hire me personally. They both use ACAT. Okay. The difference is this. Have you noticed? Okay, check this out. Fast Track Elite uses ACAT, and if you hire me personally, that system, that program uses ACAT too. But if you look at John Harrington and the other accounts that were above, okay, those were the Fast Track Elite members. Let's go up. Look, Edith. Edith is a Fast Track Elite member, okay? Fifteen gone. Okay. Again. Fast track elite member. Okay. Fast track elite member. Can you see that they're all in the realm of 12? Okay. Now, if you look, there's 12 deleted. But how many are still remaining on there? Let's do a, let's do a check. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think nine. So there's roughly nine plus 14. So that's going to be 23 negative accounts. Okay. So if you do the math, it's roughly, it's more than what Lexington Law is promising. It's definitely more than 20% done. Or it's a little bit more, okay? 20% of 20 account, 23 accounts is like what? How many accounts is that? Four, right? Five, these are 12. So we can get above 20% within that first, you know, month. Pretty good, pretty consistent. Now let's go to uh, Mr. Harrington. You know, 143 points right there, 129 points, 136 points, 79 items deleted. So as you can see, this customer has been through a lot, okay? Like, we take on hard counts. You'd think, <clears throat> look at your credit report. <clears throat> if it doesn't have what he has, like 79 items gone. It might work out well for you in terms of hiring us. Okay, what did I do? Okay. Let's look at these accounts. Look at the inquiries. Inquiries all gone. Inquiry right there. Universal Credit Systems. You know, J.P. Morgan inquiry. Inquiry with Quicken Loans removed. By the way, that's insight on how to get those personal loan charge off collection accounts removed. Most a lot of people don't understand is there's a strategy at removing a collection. And, you know, it's kind of like when you go to the chiropractor, you might have pain in your shoulder. You might have a pain in your shoulder. And then you have a pain in your shoulder. I mean, it's, it's uh, pretty logical to say, oh, the cause is in my shoulder. But what if the cause wasn't, had no, no, wasn't even near your shoulder? I, I meant a chiropractor. I had a, I, the reason why I'm saying this is because I had a problem with my shoulder. And... I went to the chiropractor and he says, hey, you know, the problem is not in your shoulder. It's in your hip. It's in your left hip and then your left foot. You're not walking correctly and you're not, you've been sitting too long. And what's happened is this is overextending your right shoulder thing. And then, boom, because I tried everything. I tried massaging it. Once you massage it, it would, the muscle would get tight. So this is, that's just a, a small example that I could reveal to you about credit repair is that the, 
is that the you guys saw that message right <laughs> uh you saw i mean a collection removing it you might have to just remove the inquiry first based on the collection so that's a little bit of insight right there removing the inquiry off that's a different story okay who's to say a lot of people have a lot of problems with inquiries but as you can see I let this report do the talking. So inquiry there, inquiry there, inquiry there. So, you know, you see all these inquiries removed, okay? So is it safe to say that we know how to remove inquiries pretty effectively? Yeah. I would say so. Tons of inquiries. Tons of inquiries. Have you guys seen this many inquiries before? It's a lot. It's a lot. Okay, now we're in the accounts. Okay, Capital One. Okay, action taken positive. So late payments, possibly Bank of America, deleted. Capital One, deleted. Bank of America, deleted. Telecon self-reported, deleted. Um, lots of accounts deleted here. Rent track, positive, deleted. Credit One Bank, deleted, right there. Unverifiable. Which brings me, you know, credit repair is technical, man. There's so many um, things with credit repair that it's not simple. So when these YouTube people are sharing with you how to... That's why I'm not an advocate of um, teaching people credit repair on YouTube. Because what good is it going to be if it's not organized? There's no curriculum. There's no stanzas. There's no structure. It's just, oh, I'll pop a YouTube video here and tell you this and tell you that. No, you're not going to get anywhere with that, okay? Unless you have a paid mentorship or direct line of teaching. Unless it's, if, if it's not your profession, then don't learn how to do credit repair on YouTube. It's not going to work. Do you think anyone learns how to become a doctor on YouTube? Do you think anyone learns how to start a business, learn it from YouTube? the same exact thing. Do you think anyone learns how to ride a bike, uh, how to ride a motorcycle, how to drive a car on YouTube? They might pick up some pointers, but until you are in the driver's seat and have put the time in, you're not going to get anywhere. So that's why I'm not an advocate of learning credit repair on YouTube. And that's why I, I know for a fact these guys don't know what they're talking about or they're deliberately sh not sharing what you need to know. They're just sharing you enough so you can give them views and likes. Remember, it's not their interest to charge you money to do the work. That way, the stress is not on them, the liability. Because here's the thing. They made their money with your view on their video. Whether you think about it or not, it's like nothing to you. But the amount of time people spend on YouTube, you have to understand that's worth a lot of money. Companies are going to use that as a means to advertise to you. That's why YouTube has advertisements. Those are the people that are paying for you to watch. They're not paying you, but they're paying the YouTube owner. That's how they make money. So you have to think, you know, there's a lot of wolf in sheep's clothing here. The wolf in sheep's clothing is going to be, you know, having the channel, pretending that you're going to, they're, you're going to learn something. I'm here to tell you the flat out truth. That's not really going to be sustainable or it's not going to be effective. You're going to spend a lot of time and a lot of grief and make a lot of mistakes. And I've had lots of people, lots of customers call me and, you know, finally they give up. So if you want to learn the hard way, go ahead. It's your life. It's your time. And it's your credit. Back to this file. Credit one bank removed. Regional bank removed. Credit one bank removed again. Okay. Whoa. Let's go 
back. These were inquiries, I think. Okay, Capital One. Uh, what Telecon. Credit One Bank again. Emergency physician, medical collection. Okay. Have any of you had an emergency situation that was completely kind of out of your control? Like a car accident or I don't know, a hernia or a tree fell on you? Uh, well, life happens. And, or you get sick, right? You get sick, COVID-19, stuff like that. Well, that could mess up your credit. We helped this guy with that situation. It was a very, you know, difficult situation with him. We were able to get that off. Wells Fargo Bank Automotive. Have you ever had a repossession with them, a collection with them? Okay, as you can see, we've been through a lot. There was a reinvestigation into this account. So many people um, that do credit repair, you can hire companies. You would find that during the dispute process in the beginning, items may come back as verified with the, or you know, the creditors may need more time or, you know, or they just mark your account, your dispute as frivolous or erroneous. Well, we go through the reinvestigation process and we pummel through that. We're not new to credit repair. We're not afraid of credit repair. We don't care about anything the creditor says. I'm the guy. We are the people that go in there and get it done. No BS. Doesn't matter. Sometimes I don't even know how. Because I remember I told you ACAT is a it's a system. It's a program. It's a it's a program. But that program is not going to save you. I mean, it's going to get you far. Get you farther than Lexington Law, but it's not the finish line. That's why I say we have the hire me section where if you hire me, I'll go in there, my goddamn self, and I'll figure out something. Sometimes I don't know what I'm going to do, but I know I can do it. And that's how I started with credit repair. Um, someone said, hey, get this done. I had a lady. This is kind of how I started the uh, – I mean if you guys want to know how I started credit repair – you need to go to badcredit.org. It's just a side note. Bad credit. We'll help you guys. Badcredit.org. Okay. Go here. And you need to go here. Okay. You go here and scroll down. Badcredit.org. Okay. You're going to scroll down and you need to read this article about Pinnacle. Oh, here we go. See? As you can see right here. Okay? Badcredit.org. Go to the blog section and as you can see 21,000 views. Boom. Brandon Rossman wrote a wonderful article with our permission about Pinnacle and it's here. You know? Past nine minutes, 21,000 views. And... Um, yeah, so it will tell you kind of like how we started, but uh, and, you know, there's me. The guy that's talking right now is here. That's me. Okay, so um, yeah, a lady um, was going through some trouble. She got scammed with the company. I, you know, wanted to help her. I felt really sorry for her, and I helped her. I figured it out. She brought me customers. Similar situations. Most were, were scammed. Some weren't. I fixed them all. I figured it out. Because I had the right people around me to, to teach me this stuff. And I had a knack for research and figuring this stuff out as weird as it may sound. And as you can see, if you just look at this file, look what we're able to do. So... These are the remaining items, which are just a couple. <laughs> As you can, see, not many, right? One out of all those accounts. That's why his scores up, right? When when you get so many accounts removed, your score will go up immensely. That's how it works. So let's go up here. Okay. Oh, go all the way up. Look at that. I think I'll make that this. Uh, 
the cover photo for this video. John Harrington. 136, 143 points. That's pretty good. Yeah, so it's pretty accurate. I mean, you don't have a 700-something score with a lot of negative items. Okay, let's go to Caitlin. What's the story with her? 46 items deleted. Okay. Look at the inquiries. Now, what do all these files have in common? Is they got all the inquiries off. And what do a lot of these files have in common? Is that, look at the dates. They're in, within this month. Okay? Because they joined recently. So, like I told you guys, in the beginning of working with us, you're probably going to see your inquiries get removed first. Because that's part of our strategy. There's layers of credit repair. And we compress six to eight months of written strategies to specific departments within your first month. That's how we're able to get this. Credit repair does take long. They're not lying to you. If you do it how they're doing it, it will take long. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you don't want to wait that long, and if you believe that there is some faster way Please don't get scammed. Please. This video is like almost an hour long. Well, half an hour right now, but I'm going to end it short. Watch this video until the end and just, you know, take the time. Look at these inquiries removed. Okay? Collection removed. It's not just inquiries. Fed loan, student loans removed, Victoria's Secret here. It's not just inquiries here. It's other stuff too. JP Morgan, deleted, charge off, collection. We can which one is it, buddy? A charge off or a collection? Charge off cannot be a collection, collection cannot be a charge off. So there you have it right there. Okay. So that's BS right there. And this is not a credit report, this is a credit investigation report. It's better that I show you the investigation report because it still keeps enough information private for the consumer. So these are imports of the credit report from our system that we use here, okay? So, um, 120 days late, 30 days late with Merrick Bank, we got it removed, positive. These accounts are in dispute, they're pending. But here's the thing, we got Merrick Bank to report it positive. The other bureaus haven't got around to it yet. That's another story. Again, credit repair gets technical. I'm letting you know. I can't make this video any longer. I can't really describe it. So I'm just going to be very, I'm going to be as simple as possible. Okay? Anything that you doubt in credit repair, I can pretty much make you have faith again. Okay? You don't have to worry about credit repair anymore. Give me the file, um, sign up, pay, everything's going to be okay. You will be successful. Your credit will be fixed. I promise you. That's my personal promise, okay? There's no clients left behind. This is my business. This is our, Tammy's, our business, the owners, partners, investor. This is our business. I'm the guy that keeps this shit moving forward for all of us. You don't have to worry about a damn thing anymore, all right? So um, sign up now, tomorrow, soon. If you don't have money, find it. Borrow it. Your credit is that important, okay? You will not be disappointed. And as you can see, we still have work for her. And... You know, it's in dispute. We're, and we're not messing around. I'm ready. We are ready to go to war here. We're battle tested and been victorious. We're not afraid. We've been through any situation. We don't pick easy files. Okay? We go in there and we F them up. Okay? We go toe-to-toe -to -toe with those guys. It could be difficult. We could be facing a juggernaut. But every juggernaut has a chink in their armor. I'll find that chink in the armor or an Achilles heel. Have you guys read the story of the Trojans and the, um, the, the, the Greeks? 
what was it? Yeah, Achilles. So, um, yeah, we'll find that Achilles heel. Okay? And we will fix it. See all this stuff? We're not afraid of this. I'm not afraid of that. I'm not afraid of that CBC, whatever the heck it is. I'll, I don't know what it is, but I'll get it removed. And it's ethical and legitimate. We don't do any shady stuff here. We don't cut corners. Uh, Calvin, look at you, 33 points, five positive accounts. Okay? This, guys, you can slow it down, pause the screen if you really want to be thorough and fact check us. But here, these are, um, I think these are inquiries. I don't know what these are, but you can see on the screen, you know as much as, as, much as me what they are. Some deleted. Updated, updated. Con appliances. Yeah, this one's... Like, and like I said, I'm not cherry-picking, okay? I'm showing you files that are not even fully clean yet, but within the process. But I'm letting you know. I'm going to give you an update on this guy. We got some deleted here, Web Bank. Well, I'm not cherry-picking stuff here. I'm not afraid to be transparent with you because, look, I've been in this business long enough I can, like, randomly pick 20 files or I can pick 200 files. And you're good to see this, pretty much the same shit. Okay? And um, we've removed these accounts. And we're going to move more for Kelvin. So, keep in mind, watch us. You don't have to make a decision tonight, today, if you want more time. Keep an eye out for Kelvin. Um, I'm going to check in with my team. Oh, we already removed 33 accounts. And his... Scores up 29 points. That should be enough proof. But I, I don't want you to think that we, we're just a fluke where we just do one good round and then we give up and we don't do good. No, we fight till the end. Okay? We fight to the end and we figure it out. That's the guy that you want. Okay? When another problem comes in, you find another solution quick and you get it done. Don't give up. You have someone, the best, working on it. Someone that will give you peace of mind. Someone that you don't have to second guess. Someone... You could meet and say, oh, I'll get it off. Give it to me. Don't listen to that guy. You already have the best. But sometimes the best is not exactly what you think. I'm going to let you know that for sure. Don't want you, I don't want you guys to be at, um, you know, feel misled. It's not always overnight results. Okay? You can see clearly what's going on here. We picked random files. I didn't cherry pick any of this. See, I just, she says download. I didn't download it yet. I just told Tammy, hey, grab me some files. And he threw them at me. And they're not all, you know, they're not all alphabetic order. So it's not like he, you know, you know, he just picked random shit. So it doesn't matter how you look at it. Seven accounts deleted right there. See, they're just all random. We could have just been like these liars on YouTube and said, oh, you know, get, get the best and give them like the best case scenario. So a lot of these guys will they'll they'll tell you some weird stuff that's only worked for one person and they'll 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 swear by it. No, you can't do that. You guys know what peer review is in clinical trials. You're not gonna just take what happened with five people and 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 deem it as the solution for everyone. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, no, that's not how things work. Do you know what peer review means? Anyway. 13 items deleted. You can look at them right here. More to come. Inquiries. One thing that has been consistent is that we've been able to, you know, remove the inquiries fairly quickly. And this account is deleted. Debt included in the discharge. Okay, so here's another insight. Sometimes it's not about removing the bankruptcy. It's about removing the debt that was deleted or consider in it because here's the thing you have a bankruptcy but then in a bankruptcy you have to have things that were char were charged off or included in the bankruptcy just charged through bankruptcy and so you could flip the script on the, on the system itself on that regard i'm not going to go into detail but i'm just going to you know kind of give you a peek on how a little bit how we do that but it's just to show you like we don't just we're not a one trick pony here and we're not going to do anything weird. A lot of these guys on YouTube, they do a lot of weird stuff. 
that's not duplicatable, okay? If you want to run a business, you have to duplicate. Look at this, we remove one item. I don't know what it was, just an inquiry. Some people, one inquiry is it. Oh, he has a late payment, something here, Capital One. Some banks, they'll know you inquired with another bank and they'll be like, oh, no. You inquired with a competitor. We know you're subprime. So I'll give you another insight. Look, 89 points increase, 46. And then this guy's down. You want to know why he's down? It's because he's in the dispute process. Scores will go down, may go down during the dispute process. It's because FICO is having a hard time calculating the items. And... The reason for that is because the creditors may do um, illegal stuff. They'll change account statuses and you will receive adverse action. That's against the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Um, they're supposed to notify you before they do that. They can't. And it's funny because when they would receive a dispute, they would update the account and change it and not even give the, the, um, the creditors the response for that account, meaning this is how it's supposed to be reported. They'll do it kind of secretly through the eOscar. You'll know, you can check Credit Karma and Experian. Most people don't know that. And then you know, you'll see that, hey, well, you previously it was reported as X, Y, Z. Now you altered the account. But you must understand, for many months you reported it falsely. So, guess what? <laughs> it's a violation of the Fair Credit Reporting Act, dummy. Okay. I don't want to say too much. Because, you know, there's a lot of stuff that you need to know. And the stuff that I see, you know, on YouTube is just not impressing me one bit. If it did, I wouldn't post, I wouldn't even bother to open my mouth. Then I would realize, oh, I'm not, obviously, what we do here is nothing special. But... It obviously is because people are paying us a premium. Rich people with money, like eight wall, well, people with, with eighteen hundred, twenty five hundred, three thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, they ain't dummies. They're not going to pay people. People that have money have made it, and they don't want to lose it. What's worse than having no money is having a lot of money and then losing it to something that doesn't work. That sucks. Try making a lot of money than losing it. It hurts worse than not having money. So. With that in mind, if you don't have a lot of money and you're thinking, why should I pay this as a ripoff? Well, just, just want, you need to know there's other people that are paying a high premium for this service. And there's a reason for that. It's because they understand the value and they know they're going to get a big return on it. So it's like a business investment. It's not really an expenditure. It's an investment. It's different because you'll get something in return from using it. It's not like a car. It's not like a, uh, well, you have a car and you get money from your job because you take it to your job. But, you know, it's not like you're buying clothes. Clothes don't give you back any money unless you're getting sponsored to wear them. Anyway, I digress. Student loans removed. Okay, we got that. Let's go to tomorrow. Forty-two deleted, right there. Nineteen, and these are random people that he picked from this month, as you can see. See right there, we're not hiding anything. Okay, ten deleted. Ninety-six points, forty-five points, a hundred and one points, right there. Look at the items deleted. Inquiries. Oh, JP Morgan card, Citibank, 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 Capital One, One Main, and Verizon Wireless. Okay, so you guys saw. You guys, you guys saw the, you know, the badcredit.org, the article, and Google's not lying. 
just Google Fast Credit Repair, you're going to find us. So anyway, I hope that video was helpful, and you know who to call. If you're not ready, it's okay. But if you want to get this done, you got to contact us quick.